Talent can be developed through hard work, good strategies, persistence, dedication, and input from others. Where focus goes, energy flows. So focus your energy on continuous learning and stop wasting time thinking about looking smart. Build resistance, build vulnerability, build courageousness, and face adversity with a smile. Become comfortable with uncomfortable. You know, the only person that you need to prove anything to is you. Imperfect action trumps perfect inaction. Stop wasting time and get on with it. Failure is part of learning, so start learning by taking action. Christian Lavolsi, we are back. It is Thursday. This is the hot seat. How is your week going so far? My week is going really, really well. Uh, obviously, we uh, we had a phenomenal event in Sydney for three days and we absolutely crushed it. People got, by their own admission, uh, an incredible amount of value, probably too much value uh, in <laughs> hindsight, Simone. We, uh, we, probably could have, uh, we probably could have done less. Um, I mean, my philosophy was let's just go on longer. Um, but unfortunately, there was a lot of tired people already by Saturday, let alone the people that pushed all the way through uh, in our mastermind until uh, Sunday night. I know that at the airport, uh, all of us were flying out kind of the same flights back to wherever we came from. And I was just watching people. I, I didn't go to the lounge. I stayed down with everybody and <laughs> just watched people. And it was it was kind of very funny. Uh, but yeah, no, the week's been the week's been good. Um, a little bit of a chest infection and stuff, but you know, we'll power on. Hence why I'm working from home today. Um, and, and by the way, I'm not intentionally for our listeners. I am not intentionally standing behind this very large painting. That seems to be in the correct place for my head, right? And this fry pan. So um, Graham Marshall painted this. It's a stunning painting. It is quite amusing, though. It, it do, does make for good viewing entertainment that you look like you're wearing a chef's hat. <laughs> no, quite remarkable art behind me. And it's funny because every time I stand behind this painting, the painting is huge, mm. right? So it's it's almost like one, I think it's 1.6 by almost two meters in length mm. and i look it looks really small when it's behind <laughs> me um it takes up almost half the wall in this room uh so yeah look we probably better get on with it there's uh, yes. absolutely no one watching according to Streamyard. seriously Streamyard, this is a joke because we know there are people watching so uh, get your software right that's it Yes, definitely. Okay, so last week we put up a poll on LinkedIn and we asked people <coughs> if they had a strategic plan. So 89% of people said that they certainly do. 10% of people okay. said that they don't. And 1% of people said they don't even know what a strategic plan is. So this is a great topic for us today and one that I thought you would really enjoy diving into. I've got two minutes on the clock. We're going to get straight into this with our first question. And that is, what is your definition of a strategic plan? Let's just get it clear. What actually is it that we're talking about? Okay, well, let's, let's, let's just, first before I answer that question, let's remember that strategic thinking is the thinking before the plan, right? So therefore, strategic planning has to be a process in which uh, companies or leaders within companies define their vision for the future and also identify the goals and objectives. Now, the process includes establishing uh, a series of sequences in which uh, those goals can be realized so that your firm uh, can achieve or reach um, the, the vision that you stated. So the, some of the critical elements are, you know, obviously defining your vision, assessing where you are at, the, at that moment in time, where you want to be, and then determine your priorities and objectives, define the responsibilities, and more importantly, measure and evaluate the results as you're going along. But look, so I put simply, because I know I have some time, put simply, a strategic plan is essentially the top three or four things that you and your team have agreed that the business has to get right in the next two to three years, right? Um, and in practice, it is a doorway to innovation, culture change, as well as proactive strategies to manage your responses to any kind of change environment. So any kind of black swan event, 
like we just recently had with um, with COVID. So that's it. Yeah, that's amazing. You still have forty seconds, which is really wow. good. And I think I told, I told you today would be quick because I've got to bounce on a on a call straight away. I I've now got a, a regular eleven thirty call with a client, so mm -hmm. these sections have become really succinct. Yeah. I really enjoyed hearing that explanation because I think a lot of people, uh, the strategic plan is something that they would have seen if they've attended like an annual general meeting or it comes in this really pretty brochure and booklets and just understanding that it is a lot more than just what you're putting out there and facing out there is really important. Thank yeah. you. And we do have a like from someone on Facebook. So thank you for acknowledging that you are there. Hey, <laughs> oh, look, you know. Uh... Who you are. <laughs> We, we yeah uh, we are we are uh, we are going to move away from stream stream yard I, I think we're uh, we've we've already got new software and stuff because uh, we've we've uncovered that it doesn't really work so mm -hmm. uh, we thought it was us for a while and we had technicians look at it and they're like mm, nah there seems to be an issue so stream yard I did warn you about six weeks ago you are about to lose my thirty dollars a month so uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move into question two. So my second question for you, and I'm sure you're going to answer this in less than two minutes as well, is how often should you review your strategic plan? Uh, no brainer. Quarterly and annual uh, revision is an absolute non-negotiable. But mm -hmm. because we like to create momentum and keep everyone on the same page, uh, we do this by creating rhythms. And you only create rhythms by establishing things like daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly huddles uh, which actually helps you stay aligned and make sure that we meet our KPIs. So, Simone, uh, well, you know, obviously, you know, and 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 the people that know me well, I'm, I'm regarded as one of the world's top strategists, and I say that with sheer confidence because everyone we write strategy for um, uh, ends up growing at a rate of minimum 20% year on year, and that's count compounded growth. Um, so, I'm I'm pretty comfortable. Uh, to make that statement now, and, and I challenge anybody who who wants to who wants to grow at that rate to give us a call uh, and, and and have a conversation with a member of our team. But the one of the key reasons why we're able to grow like that and stay on top of it is exactly that. And they're, they're not new. Meeting rhythms are, are not a new thing. I mean, Vern Hainish um, uh, is 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 like you know one of the people that founded this concept of rhythms, and Gino mm -hmm. Whitman has uh, has taken that from Vern and 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 made it and. Guys like Kerwin Ray uh, talk about rhythms. Um, like everyone, like if you if you if you want to actually create any form of momentum uh, in your organization, be it an organization of one or many, you you need to be communicating to yourself and your team daily. But more importantly, you need to be communicating the right things. I mean, I interviewed Dr. John Demartini. What an absolute buzz that was last week, mm -hmm. and that's going to be dropping on the podcast, our first podcast for 2023, and. You know, he made a point, you know, you've got to look at your priorities every single day. If you want to be and have more, you need to be looking at your priorities every single day. And it's incredible because we started talking about rhythms in business and he was like, that's exactly what you're doing. So we, that's why I always say now, if, you, if you're an organization of one or an organization of many, it's the same. Yeah. That should be my time. It was your timer. Yes, it definitely was. Thank you for that. And I, and I like how you really yeah. addressed at the end um, that you still have the same process when you're a solopreneur because I remember that's something that I used to sit there doing, oh, who do I huddle with, my, my three-year-old? <laughs> like, what do I do? But it is the same process. You're just keeping accountable to yourself. Yeah, I mean, Blake would be pretty cool uh, to do a huddle with. <laughs> you know, he, he'd, he'd be like, yeah, great. Can I have food, Mum? Yeah, cool. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I get Let's on that? Bathroom? No. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Our third question. Uh, I like this one. So, you know, it's following a theme. You know the third question. You know what's coming. Yep. Let's give away free IP. I love it. It's always, <laughs> your third questions are always the same. Should people should, no, but seriously, Simone, people should not even bother coming on for the first time. They just come for the last question. All right. And if you're, if you're watching this on replay, please put hashtag replay in it later because I'd love to know how many people have actually caught on to. You, you, you can listen to the fun stuff and then you can just come for the last question and then you probably don't even need to engage me if you if you collate these over the course of the year. <laughs> Bite-sized pieces of information. Okay, so my question is, should a strategic plan be completed in-house or independently? Oh, well, um, 
and let me start with this. It's it's really hard to achieve anything of significance without a good plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. So be it managing a new initiative, be merging with another organization, or even uh, you know dominating your sector and industry. Okay. Mm -hmm. So whether you in, inherit a strategic plan or you guide its development from scratch, it's really up to you, you as an individual, you as the leader, to ensure that it identifies what it needs to be achieved over the coming years and exactly how that is going to happen. So in other words, you, you must know that it's fit for purpose and focused on future, okay? So now that we've got that clear, I therefore always encourage people to engage an external strategist. Now, not a facilitator, really, really different. You know, you've got all these accounting firms, you've got all these people out there that claim to be advisors, okay? Yeah, they're advisors in planning, right? And planning is not strategic thinking. And this is the common mistake people make. And then they wonder why, oh, but I did all the things that I needed to do and I never got anywhere. Yeah, of course, you listen to the wrong people, right? One, you hired facilitators or you hired your accountant. Accountants have a place. I mean, I work with 20, 30 different accountants across all the companies. I've been asked to be a partner in accounting firms. I don't have a, a CA or a CPA. I'm not an accountant. But what they're identifying is that there's no strategists in these firms, right? Strategists are really hard to come by. I know a handful in Australia that I would happily recommend if I was busy. And that's about it, a handful, okay? Now, the key here is that you bring in an external person who actually does the strategic thinking with you. They're gonna give you insight and foresight. They're gonna give you that best helicopter view that you and your team can't because you're in the trenches, right? So if you're gonna spend any money, don't spend money on marketing, just spend money on hiring a really good strategist to come into your business, spend three or four days with you, not half a session or 10 minutes. And look, the little people that are watching might be saying, oh, but that's really convenient for the companies that can afford you that are turning over 50 million bucks. Yeah, that's true. But what do you think we built Evolve for? You know, we went out and built Evolve as a strategic framing tool for smaller businesses under, you know, $2 million. And even in that startup phase, because it's a small commitment, but sure, you're not going to get a strategy written for you in one session but you're going to get it over the course of an entire year and we're going to build the rhythms and the processes yeah i mean i know i just went into a fucking abattoir and i just swore apologies but uh, <laughs> you know we just became r-rated over like in one second but no, but look, the, the reality is i'm passionate about this this is something that that it really drives me crazy i hear it all the time you know companies that call me from tech you know the executive connection i've got a, a really cool network in australia with those guys people call me and they say you know, we've, we've been working on this project for 10 years and we can't seem to get the growth that, you know, your former client or your current client told us to call you. How do you get these results? I'm like, and when I look at it and I do an inventory check, I'm like, you've never actually hired anyone externally or if you did, you hired a marketing company or an accountant. I'm mm. like, no, no, yeah. it, it, it's different advice. Mm. Don't be fooled. So my opinion is always absolutely bring in someone external but don't bring a facilitator or an accountant. Bring in a strategist, someone who actually knows, right, and has a framework for you to use. Yeah. Because most of these people also don't have any frameworks. They ask you a series of questions and then put them into a document and go, here's your 25-page, really glossy, pretty. I mean, Simone, how big is my uh, my framework that I use for Evolve <laughs> and, and, and then the one we use for our bigger clients? Huge. But how big is it? It's like... A, a, one page, a one page of what you're getting. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's hours, hours of work in one page. Yeah. And everything is distilled to the minutia, right? Mm -hmm. So because they're strategies, they're not budgets, mm -hmm. right? So that's yeah. it. I'm not going to go because I'm going to be That's a really important um, <laughs> thing to consider as well is that when you're so in the business, um, getting up and above it to create the strategy, it's really helpful to have. Um, that external feedback in it as well. So it doesn't just end up being a pretty brochure or a pretty booklet that sits around. So oh, Christian, thank you so that. much for your time. These hot seats, I love doing these hot seats. I think they're great fun and I love sharing the value. This is our last one for the year. We're wrapping up today. I know. I, I, I'm devastated. I, mean, I have been saying goodbyes to people all day. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm now, I think it's my ninth client call that I've been on, advisory mm. calls. And I've been saying to people, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So 
to all the people that are following us on the hot seat, all the people that are in the zero category today, according to the little eye in the top left-hand corner that I'm looking at. It is now 15 minutes. We have finished. But anyone who watches this, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I know that Christmas isn't a great time for everybody, right? So I'm not going to sit here and, and tell you that it's going to be all sunshine and rainbows. Christmas time is like business. For some people, it's not a great time. And I feel my heart goes out to all of you that have, you know, that don't have loved ones around you this year, that some of you that are doing it tough, um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, we can get to you or someone can get to you. Uh, Lucy and I support uh, a whole bunch of families and feed them during this time of year uh, because I know that, that things are tough. And, and that's 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 a contribution we like to make to, to society. But also to the people that do have all of those wonderful things, think outside of, of your own environment and see what you can do for someone that might need you. Um, the, the gift of giving is the greatest gift of all time. There is there is um, there is no greater gift in this world other than love. And, and and to me, giving is a form of love. So Merry Christmas. Thank you for your support in 2022. 2023 is going to be fantastic. Uh, and, uh, and, and I know that we're excited about what we're doing. Our clients are excited about what we're doing. Um, Simone and I, we are planning a potentially our own radio show. Um, you know, so we, we might actually be annoying you at drive or at breakfast somewhere near you soon. Uh, but on that note, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Blessings to you and your family. Simone, I will be speaking to you later, so I'm not going to wish you a Merry Christmas no, yet. We don't, no. You guys don't finish <laughs> up until next week. Uh, but um, And everyone will be looking forward to a really cool break ready for next year. Yes. And thank, thank you, you for your time much. and your wisdom. We know our audience appreciate all of the value you share with us every week, and we can't wait to be back in 2023. Enjoy, everyone. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Are you ready to start taking action on your business? Would you like to spend more time with your family? Then call 1300 643 229 and start building momentum right now. I know you're busy. In fact, you are so busy that you don't have time to work on your business or yourself. Often tossing and turning at night, worrying about the how to's and the cash flow. How on earth can you possibly get? off the hamster wheel so that you can take a helicopter view to see where you'll be in 90 days, one year, or three years from now. In this program, I will take you from sleepless nights to blissful sleep. You'll have more time with your family and you will have the clarity and direction so you can grow and flourish. Call 1300 643 229 now and start building momentum.